how to create your own combinations. It might seem complicated when someone throws like a 20 punch combination, like one, two, boom, 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 boom. But the way you learn that is just by starting, starting with three punches and just adding, adding one every once in a while. So you start with something simple, like three punches. So I'll do that same combination, but just breaking it down. One, two, up to the body. Two, up to the body. One, two, up to the body. Do that about five, between five and ten times until it's, you can do it with your eyes closed. Then just add on one from there. One, two, Same thing, just do that about ten, as many times as you can so you get it perfect. Then just add one from there. Thing. Adding on from there. Now the thing you want to be careful for, not just you but your clients, a lot of times when you show someone a combination, if you show them how to do something like good properly once, they'll try to go from like 10 miles an hour to 100 miles an hour. So you gotta explain to people, when you're learning it, right, start slowly, and just gradually get faster. Right, because one, a lot of novice people, they'll, they'll get it properly once. And then all the, because they think they got it once, they'll just try to go a million miles an hour and then mess up. So you gotta be patient with people, which I'm still working on. But um, yeah, just tell people gradually get faster. When you're learning a combination, don't just learn it once and think you're gonna be able to go a mil million miles an hour. Start slowly and gradually pick up your speed. Don't sacrifice technique for speed, right? Don't just stand there and just fling your arms as fast as you can just to say you did it. Everything, everything, the feet have to turn properly, the hips, everything has to turn properly, right, for the combination to work. Good.